take care of this part. This, the brain. Welcome back to another video. I know I'm looking a hot one and I feel a hot one, okay? But you know what? I'm putting me some clothes on. I'm getting ready to get out of this house and do something. Hope everyone is doing well. I hope everyone has been having a great week so far. If you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Dion. Thank you for clicking on my video. And I hope you do subscribe to my channel and become a chat partner. Had to put on some smell good, which is my Chanel Chance. Mm, it smells so, so good. Guys, I love it. I love it. Like my favorite perfume ever. Let me just say that. So yeah, guys, I just wanted to cut the camera on and say hey to everyone. Getting into the swing of things, trying to put some up on myself, get myself together. It's just been one of those days. Well, actually, it's been one of those days, the last couple of days. Just a lot going on. Just a lot on my mind. Then I'm on my monthly. That might be too much TMI, but... It is what it is. And when you get to my age, the age of 45, and you're on your monthly, them hormones be all over the place, okay? Let me just say that. And I know for me, sometimes on my monthly, my appetite might pick up, and I be craving a whole, whole lot of The last couple of days, I've just been eating crazy, and my body, I've been feeling it. Sluggish, just tired, just moody, cranky, sleepy all of the above and then the time change as well just trying to get all that together it's a lot amongst other things just life life in, in general <laughs> and i'm actually putting some ponds cream on my face if you guys want to know one thing's for certain two things for sure we all i hope y'all like my shirt it's cute right but the thing about it it's a snap in between the legs. I'm not going to snap this shirt between my legs because like I said, I'm already on my monthly feeling uncomfortable and it ain't going to work. I'm going to tuck it somehow. I'll figure it out, but it ain't going to be snapped between my legs. You can best believe that one. Guys, let me just say, it's just been a lot going on for me in my life and I'm sure in a whole lot of people's life, but the thing about it, Sometimes you have to reset, regroup, and just recharge yourself for self and just get back on the swing of things. And I must say today, I've been doing pretty good. I'm going to say that much as far as my eating. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to put some face powder on my face. I'm not doing much of anything. Just putting some face powder on my face. I'm going to brush my eyebrows out a little bit. They already got a little curve to them, but I'm just going to brush them down so they can look like something. Don't be looking wild. You can just put a little face powder on and some eyeshadow and a little mascara. But like I was saying today, I can say I'm proud of myself and I got to tap myself on the shoulder and on the back and you have to do that to yourself, with yourself, because in the words of Cat Williams, you got to be in tune with your star player the person looking back in the mirror at you, that's what you got to be in tune with. And today, I got in tune with my star player. I was like, you know what, Dion? Get yourself together. This video is going to be part of a series that I'm doing as far as my weight loss journey and just eating healthier, exercising, just being a better Dion overall. And when I say I'm proud of myself today, I really been focused on my eating. I have had five bottles of water already so far. And I try to drink at least six bottles of water a day. For breakfast, I had three boiled eggs. However, I took the yolk out of two. So it was two, basically three egg whites and a yolk. And I had an avocado with that for breakfast. And for a snack, I had some cucumber and tomato. Once I'm done getting ready, I'm going to make me a protein smoothie. I've been taking my vitamins. Oh, and I did have a couple of cashews. I did want to make me a waffle. 
but I didn't. I said, no, nah, Dion, you don't need no waffle. Don't do it, girl. Don't do it. And I didn't do it. So I'm proud of myself. And I um, actually wrote it down on my to-do list today. Um, usually, I'll write it in my food journal, but today I just wrote it down on my to-do list. So I'm still keeping track of everything I'm eating and what I'm drinking. And if you are new to my channel, that's something that I like to do. I like to write down what I eat on a daily basis. Now, mind you, some days I might start off eating good and then start doing bad. And I have been known to write down the bad stuff as well, then sometimes I don't. But what I do do is I do keep track of what I eat. That's something very important to me. And yes, I kind of do eat some of the same things. And that's okay. I got to eat what works for me. I am someone, I do take high blood pressure medication and I am working on getting off of high blood pressure medication. If you are young and you did click on my video, make sure you drink your water every day. Make sure you eat some fresh fruit, some fresh vegetables. Make sure you take vitamins and you have to decide what kind of vitamins work for you, work for your body and work for your needs. It's good to get suggestions from people, but you got to find out what works for you. And that's what's important. And a lot of times we compare ourselves to other people, try to be like other people. Don't do it. Be yourself. If you're going to compare yourself to anybody, compare yourself to yourself. Be like, you know what? I didn't do this good. However, I want to do this good, so I'm going to start doing this. That's what we have to do. Compare ourselves to our own selves and not to nobody else. Because if you do that, you will not be happy in life. It's so much, like with social media, we be so consumed. So many people be so consumed into looking a certain way, doing a certain thing. But I'm here to tell you, ain't nothing wrong with being natural and just eating better. Not saying you got, you're going to eat perfect every day, because I don't eat perfect every day. But what I'm saying is, get a plan together for yourself. Say this morning I had eggs. Tomorrow I'm not going to have eggs for breakfast. For the simple fact... I don't want to eat eggs every day because I do have to watch my cholesterol. Sometimes it can be a lot of things that you might have planned for yourself or you think for yourself that you want to do, but you don't do it because something else might come up that somebody else needs your attention and it might involve you and you just be like, you know what? I got to put that on me. I got to focus on me and get myself together, get my, get my mental right. And that's so important now, this day and time with all this going on in the world, with social media, just with the price and the cost of living and going up. We can be so consumed with other people's lives and so consumed with what's going on on social media. That affects our meals. I'm going to start limiting my social media as far as how much I look at social media or um, just participate in social media. I'm going to do a social media cleanse, which means I am going to... The people that I'm friends with on social media or people that I follow, so to say, if I feel like I'm going to go through that page and if it's something that I feel is not bringing no value to my life, it's not helping me in any kind of way. And if it's somebody that I feel like I'm always on their page, but I'm on their page to be truth as a matter of fact, being nosy, I'm going to have to remove myself and stop following that person. It's like, what's the point of actually following this person? They ain't bringing no type of value. To my little, I just want to say to everybody that's out here, if you're watching my video, focus on you. Whatever it is you want to do, do it for you. And it don't always have to be something that you do that got to be recognized by somebody else. Let it be recognized and rec recognition for yourself. And you know, sometimes you can't just wait on other people. You just got to do stuff for you. Self-care is very important. And to me, totally honest, guys, Self-care is more than going to get lashes done. Self-care is more than going to get all this microblade, whatever these people be doing out here, getting all this stuff done, lip injections and all that kind of stuff. And it saddens me when it's somebody young in their 20s getting that type of stuff done in their face. I'm like, baby, you, you ain't even finished developing yet. You just became an adult, really. Why are you putting all that form and stuff in your body? You don't need that. You're beautiful like you are. You know, but I'm just saying self-care is more than just those type of things. Like people think, oh, I'm doing self-care. You know, I'm going to go get my hair done, my lashes done, makeup done, and um, take me a shower. That's great. 
that is a part of self-care. However, self-care is up here. Take care of this part. This, the brain. Take care of that. You know, this out exterior stuff, that's cool. They want to look a certain way and stuff, but take care of this part. The mental. Make sure that's straight. Mm -hmm.